Hey there YouTube, this is a video review of the Pelican Ultimate 100 DLX. Um, we bought this kayak second hand, actually. Uh, we paid 100 bucks with the ore. It's about 200 new. Just wanted to go over some things that we've learned in the past three years of use with it. So I wanted to interrupt the video right here just to warn you not to buy a one-piece paddle. It is 10 bucks cheaper, but you will hate this paddle. Um, so it doesn't fit in the car well if you have a uh, rooftop carrier uh, it doesn't even fit my trailer well i'm afraid of it blowing out the two-piece fits nice in the kayak there's no worries about it so it's a pretty simple bare bones kayak has the straps in the front no cup holder no uh, watertight cubby nothing um i actually bought one of the cup holders that attaches to the rim here this is an oar holder that we don't use uh, it attaches here and just slides around and it holds a cup so I can't find it but uh, I, we might have lost it somewhere I just want to say do not buy one of those clip-on cup holders they suck really hard the paddle holder isn't the best either um, I probably wouldn't have bought it buy it again just because it likes to flail around I did notice after buying the oar holder that it has a nice little pre-drilled screw hole here that probably put an oar clip there it doesn't have a a cushioned seat it has a, a back a padded back a lot of leg room our dog likes to sit in the front of this one it's more comfortable than on mine um, but mine has the cup holder uh, my girlfriend isn't as tough on kayaks as I am but my friends have borrowed this and they had to ride the pink kayak and uh, it's got some scuffs here uh, the cubby this cubby here pretty it sucks pretty hard um it when we got it we're like oh we can store stuff in there but this this rope here keeps stretching and so i've had to actually keep tightening this knot this loop that i've made to go that goes in these hooks so it acts like a door and so you're supposed to put stuff in here but we don't put anything in here that we don't want to lose because if you flip this will fly open the pressure of the water hitting it so that's just one thing to be aware of I don't know what Ram X means um, it's got the ropes in the front I like how it actually is tied through the hall instead of I mean it's a chafe point but there's no screw holding it and in the back we have a drain from the factory it's got one of the drains that you kind of got to shove and work out of there and work in there. It's not a screw type. Get in there. Okay. Um, and a rope through the hall again. The screws here have not come out at all uh, in all the time of owning it. Uh, my 100X, the screws have slowly worked themselves out, but these are pretty tight. All right, we'll flip it over now. So you'll see after three years of use it has its fair share of scrapes and scratches. Still no holes though. And you'll see that the pink is starting to wear through on hers. You can see there all the hits it takes to the front. And this has been out probably 14 times since we bought it. Who knows how many, when we bought it. Uh, it actually wasn't scratched up like at all when we bought it. The person said they hardly used it and I believe them. Um, so there you go. Not much to say. It's a simple $200 MSRP kayak. Uh, I think the most important thing about kayaks is just to buy them, use them, and then sell them when you're done. But don't let them sit in your garage and become a squirrel cage. Just use them or not. The price doesn't matter. Get out on the water. Have fun. Enjoy.